Hello everybody and welcome back to the Ranch Doctor Uptown here. Got my uh, Rock Island GI in front of us here to uh, start this next series out. What we're going to be going through is Medic Daddy brought his GI over. He uh, had gone down to the Sooner Gun Show down in Tulsa yesterday and was able to pick up uh, a number of parts that he wanted changed out. So it kind of shows us as we go through the day exchanging those parts and replacing them uh, obviously like normally happens to me when I get into one of these long videos is, is I will uh, mispronounce a couple of parts I tried to go through as I was editing and uh, make annotations at the bottom of the page if I mispronounced a part but uh, Anyways, uh, kind of takes you through and I'll walk you through as we did this. We did have a little problem with some hammer follow that uh, took us a while to kind of sort through and figure out what what uh, we had done wrong. Which it actually ended up not being a problem with us. It was just uh, a little bit of wear and the interaction of some parts caused it. But made for kind of a interesting review of going through and kind of diagnosing a pistol. Uh, we don't really go into that too much in the video. We do explain to you what ended up, what we ended up finding on it. So anyway, I'm going to uh, throw this out here. This will probably be in several parts, and I'll give you something to watch for the next few days. Anyway, this will be the uh, transformation of uh, Rock Island GI. We'll uh, talk to you later and get you to the video. here we've got medic daddy's gun again and we're gonna play today let's start off by just taking this thing completely apart got quite a few different parts to uh, play with and we'll just go through them one at a time and see where we're at I'm gonna polish some stuff up as we go along also One of the new things we got is a barrel bushing, so I'm just going to try it and see if it'll go in and it fits just perfectly. So that's one place to start. We're going to go ahead and polish up this barrel, make it look nice. And we got most of the frame parts, so we'll just go ahead and disassemble this entire frame and go from there. Daddy, you gotta watch this so you know how to do all this detail strip. Like I told you guys in the other video, I'm doing kind of a Punisher theme. So we got uh, mostly stainless parts. Daddy was able to go down to the gun show in Tulsa and pick most of those up yesterday may be some parts that we add additionally later on but for right now we've got the vast majority of them go ahead and pop our mainspring housing off Again, remember on the safety, you take it to the halfway point, pull it straight up, kind of wiggle it as you go. Takes your grip safety out. I set all these parts that we're not going to use over here aside. 
sear spring will need hammer we're not going to need sear and disconnector we're going to go ahead and keep screwdriver bits again push your magazine release about three quarters of the way in turn the screw take it out and we'll drop our hammer out which we're not going to replace it either all right so we've got our frame it's basically clean we'll just go ahead and we're going to start with our new trigger here See if it'll go in. It fits in there pretty nice and does fall clear, which is what we want. I am going to go ahead and go polish up these bows. And give me a magazine, Daddy. Things we do want to check and just make sure our magazine's not rubbing on the inside. We've got such a good, nice free fall coming out. Yeah, we're going to clear just fine. Okay, we'll take this over the uh, grinding wheel and polish those up and be right back. All right, we're back from our bench grinder. Got the uh, bow on that hammer all polished up real nice. Like I say, since it fits in so clean. We're not going to do much more with it. I am going to go ahead and polish out those channels just to uh, have them good and clean. Those of you that remember my little polishing stick, it's a uh, oak stick that's cut to the width of the channel and then a little piece of thousand grit sandpaper that I put on it just run through it to polish those channels up real nice longer pieces of sandpaper here just uh, run that few a few times on each side to uh, make sure we got any high spots in the parkerization cleaned up is basically what we're doing that'll allow that trigger to slide smoothly without any binding we'll uh, go ahead and drop our trigger back in like I say we've got it good and free fall away which is exactly what we want and reinstall our magazine release make sure we're functioning good we're going to go back in with a magazine again make sure we're clearing well Got drop free on the magazine which is what we're looking for this trigger will take some adjustment, but we'll do that once we got the gun all completely back together. I'm going to just polish the back side of this disconnector real quick. Sear our disconnector we're going to leave alone. Because they're working good right now. We are changing the hammer out though, so we may have to do some adjustments as we go here. You want to go with these stainless pins, Daddy? Or? Sure, if you want. Or if you don't need, if we don't need to, we can just uh, use what we got, and if they break later, we can easily replace them. Just 
pull out of there what you need and we'll put the stainless ones back and we'll use them as we go. Alright, so that's got the uh, sear and disconnector back in with her pin. Like I say, we'll uh, follow this up with the. Uh, we've got a uh, grip safety, ambi thumb safety, and new hammer that we're putting in along with a, a slide release and a barrel bushing. So we're going to go ahead and assemble our hammer next. And uh, we'll be right back with you, and then we can check those uh, sear and disconnector faces and see how they're doing. <laughs> 